So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are all welcome to this class. And uh, of course, in this case, we are going to look at some examples. Here is a question which says that what is the cons what is the hydroxonium ion concentration, hydro hydroxide ion concentration pH and pOH of a solution that is zero point zero three zero molar HCl. So first. We know that an acid is a substance which ionizes in water to generate hydrogen ion. So first, what we are going to do, we are going to draw our acids. We are going to draw the equation and then we drive it. So therefore, in this case, we are going to have our HNO3. We have our HNO3. This our NHO3, it will now ionize, produce hydrogen ion plus NO3 minus. So now the most important thing that we are going to look at here is, of course, the number of moles of the nitric acid here is one mole. It is one mole. And of course, the hydrogen ion here for the hydroxonium ion here, the concentration is also one mole. So therefore now, you can clearly see that the concentration of the nitric acid here is 0 0.030. So since here is one mole for, hydro, for hydrogen ion and for the nitric uh, acid here is also one mole, so they are all one mole. So since they have the same number of molecules, so the concentration of hydroxonium ion will be exactly the same with the concentration of hydrogen ion. So therefore, since nitric acid have 0 0.030 uh, molar, then of course now the concentration of hydrogen ion, or we can say hydroxonium ion, is also 0. Point zero three mole so it is also going to be zero point zero point zero three molar so therefore since the cons because the reason is that here is one mole and here is one mole so therefore the concentration of the nitric acid and hydro and hydro and hydroxonium and or hydrogen and remember hydroxonium ion and hydrogen ion are the same thing so therefore now the concentration or the hydroxonium ion concentration is 0 0.03 molar because the number of molecules of hydroxonium ion are the same. So therefore we are now done with this. That is the concentration of hydro or hydroxonium ion concentration is now 0 0.03 molar because they maintain the same concentration. Then what is the next thing now? Okay. So I think the most simplest way here, we can also calculate, we can actually calculate the number of, uh, we can. So therefore now, since we know the concentration of our hydroxonium ion or hydrogen ion, remember hydrogen ion and hydroxonium ion are the same thing. So therefore the concentration of hydroxonium ion is 0 0.03 molar. So from here, we can also calculate the pH. So how are we going to calculate the pH? We can now say pH, of course, is equal to minus log of hydrogen ion concentration. And of course, the concentration of hydrogen ion here is 0 0.03. So we are now going to say minus log of 0 0.03 molar. So therefore, we can now just from here, we can actually press our calculator and get the answer and it's simple. So therefore, if you now press this from your calculator, you are now going to get, of course, here we have minus, so we have this minus. So the log of this 0 0.03 will give us minus 1.52. So minus times minus is plus, so we have now 
1.52. So the pH here, the pH here is 1.52. So we now calculate pH. We have hydrogen ion, hydroxonium ion concentration. Then the next one is hydrogen ion concentration and pOH. So to calculate the pOH is also simple. Remember, we said that pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So now we have pH as 1.52 is equal to 14. So of course, now the pOH, since the pH is 1.52, so pOH plus 1.52 is equal to 14. So we can now take this 1.5 to the other side. So therefore, our pOH from here is going to be 14 minus 1.52. So now 14 minus 1.52 is now going to be 14 minus 1.52 is now going to give us 12.48. 12. 0.48. So this is the pOH. So now we have now we have the hydrogen ion concentration. We have pH and we have pOH. Then the next thing is to calculate the uh the hydrogen the hydroxide ion concentration. And of course, if you could remember from our previous class, remember that uh we said that to calculate the hydroxonium ion concentration, you can just get oh yeah the hydroxonium ion concentration. You can apply this. That is ten power minus pOH. Ten power minus pOH, and of course we have our pOH. We have our pOH. So now it's equal to ten. Ten power minus the pOH is 12.48. So we now, uh, of course, get the uh, power of minus 12.48. Then from there, we we'll get our final answer. So let's see now what we are going to get. So therefore, when you place this, so it's going to give us 3.3. So therefore, when we actually check our 10 power minus 12.48, it is going to give us 3.31 times 7 to the power of 13 molar. So this is how to solve this question. And ladies and gentlemen, if there is any problem or if there is uh, if there is uh, any questions, then you can ask on the comment section. Thank you.